Welcome to Comic Discussion, where we discuss what needs to be discussed. And today, we're talking about Jericho Drum, famously known as Brother Voodoo, the Wugun Supreme, being set up for his MCU appearance after the events of Black Panther Wakanda Forever. When it was revealed, young T'Challa was currently residing in Haiti, which is the homeland of Brother Voodoo and where his origin story begun. And in case you forgot, Brother Voodoo was teased back in 2016's Doctor Strange when his brother Daniel Drum, the original Brother Voodoo and one of the masters of the mystic arts played by Mark Anthony Bryden made his cinematic debut and was next executed by the antagonist of the film, the supervillain sorcerer Kaecilius, which ironically in the comics, Daniel's soul will later cling to his brother and often assist him in any capacity. Also, Brother Voodoo in the comics has a close relationship with King T'Challa in his country of Wakanda, like back in 1998's Black Panther Volume 3, issue 17 through 22, where he assisted T'Challa in several missions, as well as 2005's Black Panther Volume 4, issue 12 through 13. So, although Wakanda is technologically based in the MCU and only shows his mystical side through the ancestral plane, in 2009's Black Panther Volume 5, Issue 3 through 11, it was revealed on the far side of Wakanda, the shaman Zaravi argued that the king and Wakanda's people abandoned their tradition of alchemy for science and herbology. But later, the child decided to give in and be empowered by magic to defeat the mystical Dr. Doom. So uh, Brother Voodoo could take the place of Zaravi in the MCU, but be more of a mentor to young T'Challa, possibly a father figure and teach him some of the ways of the mystic arts, while Okoye and Nakia could teach him combat and espionage. Shuri could teach him about technology and how to be a great leader like his father, while Mumbaku could teach him the importance of tradition. So even though Brother Voodoo is synonymous with Doctor Strange, and we all thought he would show up in one of his films, which he might still, it only seems fitting he debut in the last entry of the Black Panther trilogy, because honestly, but the Voodoo will eventually place Doctor Strange in the MCU as the new Sorcerer Supreme, just like he did in the comics. Hello.